congratulations. I cannot believe that you are graduating from middle school and moving on to high school. It seems like just yesterday when Sean cried his way into letting the class sit where they wanted for the day during study hall. <laughs> okay, because you cried, you can go sit on the floor. Yay! Or when we would have random dance breaks throughout the day. Excuse me, green. Or when we did the mannequin challenge on the last day of school. Nice job. <laughs> Or one of my personal favorites when we were all together in chapel worshiping Jesus. Those were the days. I want to start off by first thanking Tracy Joe for asking me and Dr. Moore for allowing me to be a part of this special day. I also want to thank the wonderful teachers and families at High Point for partnering with me in educating and discipling these incredible students. And finally, I want to thank you, this class. I want to thank you for being the best first class I could have ever asked for. You made my first year of teaching such a breeze, and you kind of gave me unrealistic expectations for the classes that followed you. It is such an honor to be invited to celebrate with you on this special day. A couple years ago, it probably would have seemed a little odd to have someone join a graduation ceremony via a video on the screen. But after the way things have been lately, faces on screen seem to be a lot more typical these days than we would have ever guessed. I truly wish I could be there to celebrate with you all face to face. Although, let's be honest, I definitely would have cried after I saw how much you've grown spiritually, mentally, emotionally, uh, physically. Yeah certainly would have cried. I'm sure many of you are taller than me at this point. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mindy Jacobson. I had the wonderful, wonderful opportunity to teach these sweet young men and women during their fifth grade year. I miss you all so very much and I'm so incredibly proud of every single one of you. So often I find myself smiling and laughing and sometimes even crying when I think back on um, all the time we spent together and the countless sweet and fun memories we shared, I will forever cherish those days that I spent with you and forever be grateful for the opportunity to have a part in your educational careers and spiritual development. For those of you whom I haven't had the opportunity to meet yet, I have heard excellent things about you from your teachers and I know I would have loved you just as much. What an exciting day as we celebrate your accomplishments thus far and you embark on the next chapter of your lives in education. Truth be told, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what to say to you today. I found it incredibly difficult to find the words to communicate just how special you are to me and how proud I am of you. In the years that I got to spend with you, I got to see an incredible amount of growth in all of you. I have no doubt that you have grown even more since then, and I have no doubt that you will keep on growing in the years to come as you continue to let God shape you into the men and women that he has designed you to be. Many of us are probably familiar with the 12th chapter in 1 Corinthians, and it talks about the importance of each, body, uh, each physical part of our body. In this chapter, Paul talks about how unusual it would be if our body only consisted of one part, emphasizing the beauty and diversity and differences. He says, and I'm paraphrasing here, the eye doesn't say, well, I'm not part of the body because I'm not the ear. This further drives home his point that all parts of the body are important. So too, each member of the body of Christ has a unique and special purpose and one is no more important than the other. Paul goes on to say this, if one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. And if one part is honored, all the parts are glad. Did you catch that? You are an important and integral part of the body of Christ. You bring something to the table that others do not. 
you are important, you are wanted, you are needed. Each one of you were uniquely designed with a purpose. You make a difference and your lives have an impact. You know, the assumption is that as a teacher, we have an impact on our students' lives. And while I hope that was the case, I hope you walked away from your time with me and your incredibly devoted teachers at High Point, having learned new things about God, the world that he's created, how to love him and how to love the people in it. I speak on behalf of all of your teachers, your family members, your peers, your friends, past, present and future when I say that it is you who changes us. I could probably write a book about all the wonderful gifts, talents, abilities, character traits that I see in you. But I guess for the sake of your time, I'll keep it short. Here are some of the beautiful qualities I see in you. Emily, when I think of you, I think of joy. When I first met you, I remember thinking how beautiful and life-giving your smile was. And your smile is forever ingrained in my mind. You have this incredible way of lighting up a room with your presence, and I hope and pray that you keep that light and joy with you wherever you go. Bennett, when I think of you, I think of determination. I will always remember you for your hard work, passion, and enthusiasm. Whether it's academics, sports, relationships, you give 100% in everything you do, and your hard work does not go unnoticed. I pray that you will continue to work as unto the Lord, and I pray that you'll continue to give him the glory. Ashlyn, when I think of you, I think of respect. As my student, your words and actions always clearly indicated that you loved and valued me and my well-being. You have an incredibly respectful demeanor, and I know that your teachers, peers, and family members feel respected by you in the way that you honor their feelings, opinions, and ideas. Thank you for loving people so well with your respect. Michonne, when I think of you, I think of friendliness. You are just one of those people who is known and loved by everyone. You are such a delight to your classmates, teachers, and parents, and anyone else who has the privilege of knowing you. People are drawn to your kindness and grace. My prayer for you is that you continue to reflect the love of Jesus in all of your relationships. Sutton, when I think of you, I think of wisdom. I can confidently and unashamedly say that you are one of the smartest people I know. And in fact, it's totally fair to say that you're smarter than me. I've always enjoyed having conversations with you because I would always walk away from our conversations having learned something new. Your eagerness to learn and dive deeper into your studies is admirable. But what's even more admirable is how you apply this knowledge to your life in wise ways. You are going places, Solomon. I mean, S Sutton. Caleb, when I think of you, I think of compassion. You have this incredible ability to feel the emotions and needs of others in a way that I haven't ever seen before in someone your age. I can think of so many instances when your words and actions reflected your deep love and concern for people. What a beautiful gift to love people so deeply and remind them of their value in Jesus. I pray that you take this gift with you wherever you go. Jake, when I think of you, I think of flexibility. When I first met you, I remember thinking how well you fit in and it almost seemed like you had always been there. From switching schools to navigating all the changes that come with a pandemic, you have certainly shown your ability to adjust to whatever comes your way. Nora, when I think of you, I think of integrity. When I think back to our time together in school, you were always one of those people I could trust to be doing the right thing at all times. You are a great role model to your peers, and I think we all have something to learn from you. My prayer for you, Nora, is that you remain consistent in your convictions throughout your life. Mia, when I think of you, I think of loyalty. 
You are the kind of person who sticks with people through thick and thin, and I've had the privilege of seeing that firsthand in your relationships at school. Your love and devotion isn't dependent on circumstances, but is dependent on who you are. Mia, you care for people so well, and your friendship and loyalty um, is such a gift uh, to those who know you. Curtis, when I think of you, I think of enthusiasm. You are so very much yourself, and I just love who you are. Thinking back to your fifth grade self, I remember that you were never afraid to be your lively, silly, unique, fun self. And I hope that that's still the case today. Curtis, you have a great personality, and I pray that you never lose sight of who God created you to be. Daniel, when I think of you, I think of dependability. In this complicated and unpredictable world, we all need someone who is consistent and reliable. You are that person. People trust you because you do what you'll say you'll do. And you have reflected trustworthiness in your words and actions. People need your consistency and they value it, Daniel. Judah, your teachers describe you as someone who constantly seeks truth. They say that you think deeply and critically about life and that you ask questions in an effort to learn more and seek truth. Mrs. Prisky describes you as a great listener and someone who is incredibly teachable. Avery, your teachers describe you as someone who has great influence on your peers. They say that you have a deep passion for Jesus and life. Mrs. Prisky tells me that your passion has had a positive impact on your peers and has motivated others to have the same heart for God. Hannah, when I think of you, I think of passion. Everything you do flows from your beautiful, loving, kind, passionate heart. You are motivated by things and people that you love, and it shows so evidently in your life. You, ha you remind me a lot of myself in the fact that when you love something, you love something. Your heart is one of my favorite things about you, sweet Hannah, and it is going to make a huge difference in this world. Brenna, when I think of you, I think of selflessness. You are the type of person who's willing to set aside your own wants and desires for the needs of others. You are quick to consider others before yourself and see the best in them always. Your selflessness makes this world a better place and I can't emphasize enough how much I wanna be like you when I'm older. Brenna, your servant heart is something special and I pray that you never lose sight of its beauty. Noah. When I think of you, I think of initiative. One of my favorite things about you is your motivation to try and learn new things. It's so admirable how you are willing to put in the hard work required to become an expert at something. Your initiative is a blessing to people around you and will take you far in life. I'm so proud of you. Becca, when I think of you, I think of creativity. You are a girl after my own heart in the fact that you love all things art and creativity. You always find creative ways to show people just how much they mean to you. And that's also the case for me. I've kept everything you've given to me throughout the years, and that's a lot. And because of that, I've had to upgrade my box several times. My prayer for you is that you continue to cultivate that God-given creativity for the rest of your life. Graham. When I think of you, I think of enthusiasm. I've always admired your fun, high energy, and outgoing personality. Your joy is so contagious. Am I allowed to say that in COVID times? It's so contagious. You have this beautiful ability to bring positivity and humor into even the toughest of circumstances. You are a gift, Graham. Keep sharing that gift with the world. I want you all to know that you were created with unique talents, gifts, and abilities. God hand-selected your tools and resources to go forth in this world and make a difference on people's lives for eternity. That's pretty cool. What a privilege. As I've said before, you've made a huge difference in my life. Because I know you, I am more selfless, kind, flexible, compassionate, joyful, enthusiastic, and all the other character traits that I've listed. You have forever changed my life. And you can go forth 
and change the lives of others. As you can tell, I think very highly of you. If you hear one thing from me today, hear this. You were created with intentionality, your life has a purpose, and with Jesus, you have what it takes to go forth and impact this world for eternity. I'm already so excited to watch you live out the plans that God has for your lives using the gifts and talents that he's given you. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. I hope you'll remember some of the lessons I taught you because I will always remember the lessons you taught me. I love you all so very much. Congratulations, graduates.